First look at extended UI version 2.0 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at extended UI version 2.0 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, the security patch is from October 5th, 2020. The kernel they are using is Immensity kernel and they do recommend that you do not change the kernel. Other than that, this build is based on OSS or open source vendor and it does use Mi 9 FOD SE Linux is set as permissive and the zip file which was released does not come with Google Apps baked in. However, I am using Nix macro Google Apps on this build and as you can see out of the box I do have Pixel Launcher and we can have a look at the recents. Bam, there it is. Super fast and super quick, no issues to report. If I tap on select, there it is. The text was selected so the select feature is working absolutely fine. If I try to take a screenshot, that also works. Tap on share, it is going to open the quick share menu. And if I press and hold on an application, I can now pin that application to the quick share menu as is signified by the pin besides the M alphabet. Next up, we can have a look at the quick setting tiles which we get. But before I forget, the cats game from Android 11 Easter egg does work absolutely fine on this build and I do have a separate video about that which can be found in the description of this video. So these are your quick setting tile options which you get with this build in case you want to add more tap on the edit icon and these are your additional quick setting tiles which you can add. You can also tap on the three dot menu on the top right and configure your columns and you can also configure your columns for the quick bar as well so you can use the second option for your quick bar columns other than that you also have android 11's screen recorder baked in which lets you record device audio and microphone at the same time but the only downside right now is that the ui does get a bit laggy or i should say the ui feels like it is running in slow motion that is the only issue there are no jitters and no lags but the ui definitely is like in slow motion when you are using the screen recorder functionality other than that you also have priority notifications working like a boss in case you want to use that and you also have notification history as well do note you do have to enable notification history and you can go into settings apps and notifications notifications and notification history make sure you enable this toggle other than that you also have bubbles as well which might not be compatible with all the applications right now next up we can have a look at the volume panel so this is how your volume panel looks like you can expand it as well and you can use the button on the top to toggle between the different ringer modes which you have to note this rom does let you customize the volume panel and we are going to look into that later in this video other than that you also have the blur and zoom effect working absolutely fine when you swipe down on your notification shade next up we can head over to settings and have a look at the different customizations which you get so in network and internet you can tap on your wi-fi names select it one more time you have the option of disconnect select advanced and you also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per wi-fi basis then in configuration center this is where you have all the customizations of extended ui version 2.0 first up is status bar so you can enable or disable double tap to sleep on the status bar works absolutely fine then you can configure what all options or icons you want to see in your status bar whether you want to see the icon for data disabled if you want to see 4g instead of lte if you want to see the volt icon or not and you have all these different volt icons you can choose from 
then you have voice over wi-fi icon disabled enabled or in case you want to use voice over wi-fi icon instead of volt icon and these are the different options you have for configuring your voice over wi-fi icon next up we have themes so in themes you can change the accent colors these are the different options which you have or you can use the rgb accent picker as well and bam so it is you can see that my ui rebooted and the accent color has now changed to red then you can change the icon style and icon shape as well right now we are using the device default option let us change this to say the teardrop option and bam there it is you have the teardrop icon shape working absolutely fine you can configure your switch style as well and you have options of oxygen os and md2 so this is the default switch style right here let us change this to say md2 and there it is the switch style has now changed in terms of fonts you have google sans noto serif one plus sans and one plus sans light if you want the clock widget in quick settings if you want to replace the clear all text with a nice button and if you want data usage in your quick settings header you have a toggle for ex ui accent color you can also change your quick settings background color as well and the three options which you have are for when you are using a dark theme and in case you want a transparent quick settings header so let us try these out and as you can see the header is not transparent right now i do not have a clock and i have the clear all option over here so let us enable the clock widget in quick settings replace the clear all with a nice button and we can also use the transparent quick settings header and let us change the volume panel style as well so the system ui is going to restart on its own and now we can have a look at the volume panel first bam here it is this is a much better look in my opinion and as you can see expanded panel along with the button to toggle between your ringer modes then as you can see it is now transparent and the clear all text has disappeared i have this clear all button and if i expand it i have the clock widget in my quick settings as well so all in all very nice customization till now next up we have customization for lock screen so you have double tap to sleep lock screen charging info and fod recognizing animation all these options are working absolutely fine so here it is let me try to wake up the device double tap to wake works and bam double tap to sleep on the lock screen also works absolutely fine going back you have customization for your notification so you can configure your hide smart replies a snooze timer timeout and notification sounds when the screen is on next up we have customization for navigation so you can use your volume buttons for playback control if you enable this toggle in case you want advanced restart as you can see i do have it enabled right now and you also have screen off power button torch and in case you are using your three button style navigation you can invert the layout as well let us first check out the advanced restart bam there it is options for rebooting into recovery and bootloader are present then we can check our screen off torch so the screen is off long press the power button bam there it is you can see that the torch has been activated long press it one more time and it is now turned off next up we can head over to apps and notifications so see all apps and now let us say i select chrome go into permissions you will see that i have three different options for camera access allow only while using the app ask every time and deny and i also have a toggle to enable the remove permissions for this app if it is not used for quite some time we already covered priority conversations and notifications so we can skip that going into battery you have battery saver battery manager and a toggle to enable or disable your battery percentage next up is display so in display you do have a dark theme and with android 11 you can now turn on and off your dark theme at a specific time adaptive brightness is also present in wallpaper you can either use live wallpapers or google photos app you do not have the other application wherein you can use lock screen clock formats or customize that that feature is missing right now screen timeout works absolutely fine along with screen attention do note that screen attention is going to use the front camera and pop it out after whatever time you have chosen there it is 
it popped out after 15 seconds it checked if somebody was looking at it or not and then if somebody is looking your screen is not going to turn off then you can change your colors you have different options natural boosted saturated and adaptive change the font size in lock screen you can configure your text on the lock screen if you want to enable aod or always on display you have that feature as well and if you do not enable aod you can use pickup and raise to wake all these options are working absolutely fine here it is bam the screen is going to wake up so this is your raise to wake working absolutely fine next up in display you have double tap to wake and we already checked that it is working absolutely fine in sound nothing much you have do not disturb which is from android 11 wherein you can configure this on a per people basis per app basis and alarm basis as well then if you go into advanced you do have me sound enhancer along with the toggle to enable hi-fi in case you have your headphones connected next up we have security so in terms of security the fod on this rom is pretty impressive and it works even at zero percent screen brightness i have personally tested it and this is by far the best fod i have seen on any android 11 so far you also have face unlock and that also works absolutely fine moving over to system you have front camera sound effects so you can for starters enable or disable your camera led and you can also configure your front camera sound effects these are the different options you have of course me being a star wars fan i have the star wars option chosen then if you go into gestures system navigation you can choose between three different kind of navigation styles the old school three button two button from android 9.0 pi and the full screen gestures from android 10 go into settings you can configure the sensitivity for every edge that is your left edge and the right edge then you can configure the gesture bar length as well there it is long it is the longest and if i select short this is how it is of course you do not have the option of hiding the back arrow or the bar right now then you have swipe to screenshot and yes three finger screenshot does work absolutely fine and your power menu to show the device controls also works absolutely fine going to developer options you can enable wireless debugging and you can also enable your show refresh rate to show the refresh rate on the top left of your screen if you enable this toggle other than that we can check for safety net so i do have the magisk manager application installed my device is not rooted i have only installed the magisk manager application to check for safety net and as you can see safety net passes out of the box so that's good news for those of you who want to use banking apps on this rom however if you do end up rooting your device you might have to use magisk hide to pass safety net next up we can check for youtube so let me open the youtube application and reduce the volume so that i do not get a copyright strike but we can play a scene from my favorite movie the matrix put it in full screen as you can see pinch to zoom works absolutely fine there are no issues to report and we can next check for picture in picture there it is picture in picture along with live caption also works you just saw that music popped up so live caption also works absolutely fine on this build there it is one more time next up we can have a look at the gestures and animations so here is my google feed you can see everything is super fast and super smooth there are no jitters no lags we can also try switching between the different applications there it is again everything is super fast the gestures also work absolutely fine no issues to report at all and next up we can check for your media controls from your quick setting tiles that option also works absolutely fine you can switch your media output between different output devices working like a boss no issues to report so all in all in my personal opinion this is by far the best build for the redmi k20 pro out of all the builds which i have tried for android 11 and feel free to try it out because the build is pretty smooth and pretty fast and there it is peeps that was our first look at extended ui 2.0 based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome 
see you when I see you.